This is part two of making the engine block for the inline four engine. Um, last time we made the main part of the engine block. We got our tubes in there. I will have to get those out. I'm going to drill out the larger hole, the larger holes for the uh, piston operation along the top here. Alright, I'm drilling out the holes for the larger opening. Okay, there's a lot in there. Initially we're going to go in, just try to clean out what we can without scratching the inside of the cylinders with an X-Acto knife. Kind of do the rough stuff. I have these cut out. I've done a little cleanup with an X-Acto knife and um, one of the things although the dull helped me cut nice perfectly round tubes leaving the dull in for the glue in and stuff um, ended up warping the tubes so now I'm going to have to do a bit of um, probably a bit of sanding a bit of shaping to try and get the tubes back to the right shape so the pistons slide again. But uh, I probably can recover from that. Alright, I cut this piece out on the scroll saw. Quarter inch oak. There's a pattern right here on the, the side where it's going to get glued down. I'm going to just line it up real good. And make some reference marks. I'm going to just make some marks right here. And I'll take that off later. Erase it, sand a little, whatnot. That way I can take the uh, pattern off this side of the block and glue it down. So that's what I'll do is I'll just make sure it's clamped up, all lined up real good. We'll just let that set up. I have a lot of tubes to cut. For the tubes, I'm just going to use my tube cutting jig. I have a piece of tape marked on there to roughly indicate how long. Connect the edges on the tubes. I'm just going to use a disc sander in my drill press. For drilling the holes, I'm going to use a little different technique than I have in the past. I'm going to drill just down to the top, just down to the top of the cylinder, but no further, not through it, with my brad tipped drill bit. Um, just enough so that the, the point punctures the uh, cylinder a little bit. Then I'm going to glue the tube in place. Then once that's set up, I'm going to drill it out the rest of the way with the uh, size that fits inside the tube. Something smaller than what I was using to get the glue on the sides here. I'll just use another tube, a smaller tube. Kind of. Oh, that's the big one. Kind of gub it up in there a little bit. Get it in there. They're all glued in place, the glue set up. Now I'm just going to drill them through. Set my depth here. through. They're all going to have lips where the uh, drill came through. 
So what I'll take is with my rotary tool, I'll go in here kind of at an angle, just kind of grind them off a little bit. I'd pretty much given up hope that I was going to be able to save the uh, this first run at the engine block. Um, piston wasn't fitting. Something with the drying process, I believe, with the dulls in there, it warped the tubes. What I did here, first, first I reamed it out with the um, half inch bit. Left the inside pretty scuffed up and also um, still didn't uh, fix the situation. What I have here is a piece of 800 grit sandpaper. Probably could have started with 600, would have saved myself a little time. But I'll basically go from the 800 and then I have some 2000 grit sandpaper which I'll finish up with. But a uh, little work with this and it's a lot better. After sanding it, I'm going to kind of go through and get the dust out because that kind of sticks up the engine too. Well, I'm going to cut off the, uh, the video at this point. It's starting to run a little long and uh, I try to keep them under 10 minutes. The sanding, the drilling of the inside of the tubes has yielded pretty good results. All the pistons move freely. There may be a little air loss around the pistons because they, you know, from the cleaning, but it still the engine will still end up working pretty good. Thanks for watching.